वेलकम टू ए न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी इफेक्ट इन एडोबी प्रीमियर प्रो एंड दिस वीडियो इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो बिकॉज टूडे वीर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन यूज डायनामिक्स इफेक्ट इन एडोबी प्रीमियर प्रो इन साइड डायनामिक्स इफेक्ट यू विल हैव फोर डिफरेंट इफेक्ट व्हिच इज ऑटो गेट दैट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज नॉइज गेट देन अदर वन इज कंप्रेसर एक्सपेंडर एंड लास्टली लिमिटर वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू लर्न ऑल फोर ऑफ दिस इफेक्ट टुडे बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट कंप्रेसर एंड लिमिटर लेटर ऑन दिस सीरीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन or to get an expander here in adobe premiere pro i have imported the audio clip that we are going to use if you want to download this clip you can download the clip from the link in the description below so here is the clip and we are going to use a effect which called dynamic if you go to fx panel if you don't see fx panel go to window then you can enable fx panel from the fx panel you have to go to audio effects folder under this audio effects folder you will have amplitude and compression and the fifth effect is dynamics effect if you want to apply this effect on top of your clip you can just select the clip then you can double click here to apply the clip or you can click and drag it over to your clip right so it will apply the clip and you will see all the editing properties here on this effects control panel if you don't see effects control panel you can enable it from windows and effects control then you will have this panel and from here if you select the clip you will have the ability to edit the dynamics effect right so if i go here on edit section I will have this window, and from here I can edit the properties of dynamics effect. The four effect is auto get, compressor, expander, and limiter. You can apply any preset if you want. There are some preset available, or you can manually set the parameters that you want to use. We are going to use auto get, and we are going to use expander. To enable any effect, you can just enable it clicking here. It will enable that effect, and if you want to disable it, you can uncheck this checkbox, right? So if I want to use the auto get effect on top of my clip first let me show you without the effect how our audio sounds right so if I play it back hey guys welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial today we are going to learn how you can use it so here you can see there are some background noise on this section and here there is a breathing sound right when i was talking there is a breathing sound today we are going to so we are going to eliminate this background noise and breathing sound using auto get effect how this auto get effect works suppose you have arranged a program right and you have printed some ticket so when the program start only the person who have that ticket can enter through this gate to enjoy your program right so auto get is like that gate function that ticketing function you will set a threshold if i enable it i can set a threshold that is my ticket and here I can set attack release and hold properties to apply these settings. There are three different indicator here. The first one is green, then yellow and red. When the green indicator is showing, that means the gate is open, then the yellow that means it is attacking and then the red that means the gate is closed, no audio is passing through this gate, right? So if I play it back, hey guys, welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. You can see the audio sounding very choppy. So we have to set a threshold here. If I set it to minus 10 and then if I play it back, you see the gate is closed. Red sign, right? That means no audio is passing through this gate. Why this is happening? Because if I disable the effect and play it back. Hey guys, welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Here you'll Today see my audio learn. level is actually below 10 dB, right? How you can use the effect named Dynamics in Adobe Premiere Pro. The highest peak of my audio is minus 12 dB. That is why whenever I am applying this gate effect, it is closing the gate. No audio can pass through this gate. And if I change this value to minus 20 dB, then some of my audio can pass through this gate. And whenever the audio is below minus 20 dB, it will close the gate. And then the audio cannot pass through this gate, right? So if I play it back, hey guys, welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. That is happening. And again here, if I play it back, you can see the gate is closed because the audio level of this section is below 20 dB. So how you can adjust those properties? What you can do, you can see the lowest level of your sound from here. If I play it back or if you go to your breathing sound, then you can see the level of this breathing noise. Today we're... Well, today we're for me maybe it is yeah. minus 30 Today or 32 dv so i have to set a threshold level that is actually below of my talking voice right so if i increase it to minus 30 and then if i play it back hey guys welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial today we are going to so you can see the gate is closing and opening but 
still the audio is sounding very choppy. At this time you can change the attack, release and hold value. So here the attack value is 1 millisecond that means it is attacking very fast whenever it is going below our threshold level it is just closing the gate and the release is 100 millisecond that means whenever again we are talking again the threshold level is going high then it will take 100 millisecond to open the gate so that is the thing you have to change this value to get a smoother result right so if i just increase it to maybe three or four and if i increase the release then it will sound a little bit smoother i guess hey guys welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial today we are going to so learn. you can see we cannot hear our breathing sound here well, today we are going to because at this time the gate is closed pro tutorial today we that is how you can use the auto gate function to change the properties and to eliminate the background noise or breathing noise right expander works just like auto gate so if i enable expander there are two different options that we can change which is threshold and ratio threshold is a level set the threshold level to a level where you have the background noise or your breathing sound for me it is minus 30 dv and the ratio is if the audio go below that threshold level which is minus 30 dv how much it will reduce the sound so if i set it to 5 or 4 that means if the audio level go below minus 30 dB, it will decrease the audio level of that particular portion to five times lower, right? So if I play here, you will see it is engaged. Hey guys, welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we are going to actually the same thing is happening, right? Let me now show you the before and after. So if I just copy this section and if I just apply the auto get here on this clip. I'll just disable the expander if I render it out. So that is the after. You can see the visual difference. The background noise has been eliminated and all the difference, right? Here you can see the breathing sound is not audible. Again, if I just copy it and then here on this cliff, if I disable auto gate and then expander, apply expander. And now I'm just rendering. So you can see there is no difference between this one right if i apply auto get and if i apply expander there isn't a lot of difference but we are getting the similar kind of result so whatever you are comfortable with you can use right you can use auto get also you can use expander to eliminate your background noise and the breathing sound from your audio that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere for video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one i'll then goodbye.